Hey, a minute, hiya. It's chapter four, trigonometry graphs and equations, the mixed exercise for j at the end, number 11, which is another higher question, former higher question. There's this graph here with some information in it. This is the form of the graph, and it wants to know the values of P, Q, R, and U. Well, the first thing is, in front of there's nothing in front of X, which means it's got a normal wavelength of 360. So now the whole width is 360. That'll be a help. Well, first of all, it's going from 4 to negative 2. Well, I can get the amplitude from that, because P is going to be the amplitude, but then there's a case of whether it be positive or negative. There's two ways of interpreting this. Is that an upside-down sign that's been shifted back a bit? Or is the ordinary sign that's going forward? I'll just take it as the sign going forward. So we'll say the amplitude's going to be a half of the difference between the top and the bottom. 4 take away negative 2. 6, which means P is going to equal 3. So that's the first bit. P equals 3. What will do next? Q. That's the amount of the vertical shift. Well, it should be going up and down 3, which means that if it reaches 4, it must have been shifted up 1. So I know what Q is. It's at 4, take away the 3, which means that Q must be 1. It's been shifted up 1. Then R. Now, all the original points are on this dotted line for the zeros and the 90s and the 180s and the 270s and so on. I'm not going to use these numbers here. They're no use to me. So this says this graph should have started here. That should have been back here and then dropped down one. It's going up one and it's going forward this amount. Well, the amount it's going forward then would be, well, I know this point's for certain. I know that the it's a normal 360, so each part's 90, so that part must be 90, and if that part was 50, that means the amount that's been shifted is 50 plus 90. But since it's going forward, it's going to be the negative of 50 plus 90, so R is going to be negative 140. I'll just put a in there. The whole thing's been shifted forward 140, which means the top of it, which should have been at 90, so this is U. The top should have been at 90, so it's now going to be 90 plus 140, which is 230 degrees. There's the four parts to the first one. Or putting it all together, although that's all it asks for, I've got Y equals 3 sine X minus 140 degrees plus 1 for the equation of that. Right, second bit. B. Find the values of S and T. Right, well they're quite specific points because they've got zeros in them for the x and y coordinates. Now what about s first of all? 0s. Well, just substitute it into the equation then, because it must fit it if it's on it. So s is the y coordinate, is 3 sine, and x is 0, minus 140 plus 1. And you just type that into your calculator. You don't need to mess about by saying, oh, what is 140 equivalent to? So you think, right, go back 140 degrees, and you're left with 40 in that quadrant. So it's equal to the negative of sine 40, and then type it in. No, just type that straight in. So you just type in 3 sine negative 140, close bracket, plus 1, and you get negative 0 0.928, etc., etc. So that'll be my answer. S is equal to negative 0 0.928. And it's the same with the next one. What about the point... What was it again? T0. The point T0. Again, remember, that's not one of these exact ones because that's not on the line of oscillation. But it must fit the equation. So this time it says Y is 0. I'll put that on the other side. So I've got 3 sine, now X is T, minus 140 plus 1 equals Y, which is 0. So I've got that other equation to solve. So what's that then? 3 sine t minus 140 will be negative 1. Sine t minus 140 will be negative a third. t minus 140 will be inverse sine of negative a third. That's not one of the ones that I know, so I'm going to have to cast that. The negative will get taken care of in the cast diagram. The third, I'll have to put that into my calculator as inverse sine of a third, and that's going to give me 19.5 degrees. The sign says it's negative, so it's going to be 
either 13 here, or sorry, 19.5 here, or 19.5 there. So I've got T minus 140 equals these two angles. So I've got that equal to 19.5 away beyond 180. So that'll be 199.5, or 19.5 short of 360, so that's 340.5. I could say plus N360 things start to go out of range. I know I want my answers between about 0 and 360. So T is going to be adding 140 onto them. 140 onto that is 339.5. 140 onto that is 480.5. Now notice this answer here can't be as much as 339. That's because this is going off the scale. And that's what I can call this into play. I can find the answers before and after by adding 360s. So no point taking 360 off of that, makes it negative, but 360 off of that would do it. So 360 away from that is 120.5. So my intersections are going to be 120 and 339, which means that T must be 120.5 because it's the first occurrence, because it's the first intersection. Yeah, that would be it.